Hello and welcome to this video. I hope you guys are doing well. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to rig inside Pupa uh, when you have the finger enabled. So we have done a version without the fingers. In this version, we'll be doing one with the fingers. So I'm going to just select this character. So it's important you select everything. A quick way of selecting everything in the collection is to right click, select object. So you can just easily select everything. Or you, of course, you could just box select. Um, so now you can go to assign objects and I'm going to just select the big boy collection since we already have that And in this case, I'm going to select use fingers and I can hit ok and we have it set So in this one you can see we have um, Some added controllers here. These are for the fingers. So just like um, the previous um, Video we'll just set this to volume enable the snapping tool and just move this into place Okay, so before we continue, I've gone ahead to place all the body parts. And before we continue, I want to just show you guys one really helpful tip when you're using the snapping feature inside Blender. Um, so if you enable the snapping and set it to volume, um, so by default, this is unchecked. So it's important to just check this, especially if you have multiple objects. Um, for instance, if I move this away and uncheck this and I snap it here, um, we can see, okay, this is not so obvious. Let's do it with this. If I move this, um, we should get something like this. It's not really snapping in the center, but if you enable snap peel object, it's going to snap right into the center. So that's something you want to um, try it for yourself and kind of play with it, um, different settings. Okay, so uh, next let's focus on setting up the hands. Um, controller so it's same thing you just rotate it um, try to avoid scaling it and we can enable the snapping and just place it right here okay and now we can just move this into a place so it has like a rubber band effect uh, that is kind of stretch very cool make sure you snap it correctly Maybe I, I'll turn this off, this snap to peel and should be more accurate. Okay. Okay, so we have this finger set up. As you can see, it's quite fast. So now we can go ahead and hit automatic weight and bind. Of course, you have to have your collection set. You have to have everything set. Just give it some minute and it should be all set. Okay, so this is done. As you can see, we have the fingers here. Um, so currently, as if you look at this, this is behaving weird. Um, the finger is not really precise like what I've wanted. Um, so that's why um, customization tools like previewing your meta rig is quite helpful. So if we hit OK, if we backtrack and hit preview um, the hand and kind of see what's causing the problem, as you can see, um, it did a very good decent job to kind of project the fingers where it should be um, but it's it didn't really do a great job with it um, so in future updates it should be more accurate um, but so far this is what we have um, so you can just go in and adjust this to um, the right positions and just place it you can see So after doing this tweaking, it should be more precise. So you want to check both the left and right. So sometimes you run into this particular issue with um, the right hand. So to fix it, I'll just turn off this X mirror. And now I will parent this to this. So clear the parent. So I can move this here and this should be parented to this. Let's see. Okay. 
Okay, so it's all good. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think this should be parented here. So it's just a um, little tweak. And okay, we are all good now. And we can just adjust this some more. Turn on the X mirror so it's easy for us to place it. And we don't need this breastbone. So we can delete that. Let's just check everything is okay. We'll adjust the knee so it bends correctly. And that's that. And we can just select this object, this uh, meta rig now. Go to bind, uncheck preview meta rig. Um, make sure you have the right collection. And you choose your bending type, binding type, and it's okay. So you also see amateur have finger this checkbox. Um, what that means is in a situation whereby you have to close Blender while in the process of kind of placing your points and creating your pupa rig, um, that's fine. Um, but when you reopen Blender and if that rig um, has fingers, um, like for this instance, um, it's important you check on that so it kind of refreshes pupa and tell it to pay attention that this rig has finger so you don't run into any error. Um, so that's that. As you can see, we should be able to get a very nice bend with the fingers. I like can see here. So everything works as it's meant to work. So that will be it for this tutorial. Stay tuned and keep watching this playlist. There are a lot of cool, helpful tips that will really help you with proper add -ons. So bye bye for now. See you next time.